Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 3.0. Today's episode 34 or part two of three of Mystical Agriculture, however you want to look at it. Yeah, this is what we're going to do today. We have tier two and tier three. Actually, we got one, two, and three that you see right now behind me and beside me. So we are going to do tiers two and tier three today. We got a lot to work. And these googly eyes, you know, they hypnotize you. Hello there. Can you see me? <laughs> Love googly eyes. All right, my friends, let's get started. Okay, before we get to the seeds part, there's two things I want to show you. One is uh, I got rabbits. I got tons and tons of rabbits now. I've actually had to kill a whole bunch of them. Um, yeah, I had to get rid of all my chickens out of my chicken farm. I had to net them all up. I had to get rid of all the animals here. And uh, finally, they started to spawn. And then something really cool, I got a rooster. I have a rooster. Hello, Mr. Rooster. Let's go ahead. What you do is you feed him seeds, and he becomes a rooster stud muffin. And he starts finding all the other chickens and starts making baby chickens with them. So just feed him some seeds, and you have chickens. That's just hilarious. All right, but yeah, I have the rabbits. I didn't have to go rabbit hunting at all. These are quick little suckers, too. I got one that got free, and I had to chase him around my base. He finally jumped to his, uh, uh, he, he's dearly departed. He went over the side. Poor thing. But yeah, I finally got chickens. I had to get rid of everything. I came over here, got some sheep. I killed them, got some pigs, killed them. And all of a sudden, I got a rabbit or two. Yeah, we are all good to go. Let's go ahead and throw these real quick. Oh, nothing. All right, we'll go ahead and get rid of this other stuff in a minute. And the next thing I want to show you is over here. Dun, dun, dun. Is our mob farm. We have all kinds of good chunks. But it's quiet, it's slick real quick. I have all these chunks that are just it's crazy. And I'm glad we put our blazes in here from last episode, or two episodes ago. But yeah, we have tons of stuff now. I actually got some chicken chunks. I killed a bunch of chickens. And you, you have to say something's very gratifying when you come over and you know, one strike of your sword and just about everything died. That is so gratifying. Yep, there you go. Two strikes, I got everything. So we are rocking and rolling here. We have everything we need, plus some. Um, so if I ever need to make more seeds, I have the supplies, the chunks. And I'll probably let that run a little bit longer, and then we'll convert it back over with the uh, diamond spikes. All right, so here's what we need. Let me go ahead and get rid of this stuff first out of my inventory. Um, I think I can live without this for right now. There we go. This is what we need for Tier 2. Remember the last episode we did Tier 1? Today we're going to do Tier 2 and Tier 3, as I said in the introduction. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we need to do is go ahead and convert these seeds over to, uh, I think it's just crafting seeds, base crafting seeds. Yep, 13 of those. Because tier two, tier two has 13 seeds. Now this is going to make it into a tier one crafting seed, but we need them to be at tier two. So we're going to go ahead and use some more essence, the Prudentium essence, to make it up to a tier two crafting seed. So now we've got tier two crafting seeds. And now we're just going to take this, and this is our basic recipe right here to make all our seeds. So the first one we're going to make is going to be the fire seed, and that's just four buckets of lava. And that'll make us a fire seed. And, you know, I need to clean out my inventory real quick. Let me be, I'll come right back. All right, I got my inventory cleaned out. That's a little bit better. Um, that way we have more places to put these seeds because we are going to fill up my inventory of seeds today. All right, the next one we're going to make is a, I think it's a dye seed. And you take these four dyes. You got the black, the orange, the magenta, and the uh, cyan. And you just put them in your crafting table, two by two, any order that you like. And you get four dye clusters. Clusters. Every time I hear clusters, I think it's food. Oh, I dropped it. Come on. There you go. We'll just put that in here and we get our dye seed. There we go. So we got our dye seed. Next thing we're going to do is the nether seed. And we need to make nether rack for that. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. And this is where our lava comes in. And just right click on that. And just put some redstone with the lava and we get nether rack. There we go. Eight, eight of those. There we go. Let's put the water back. Oh, one more. There we go. And put that bucket over here. That way I don't waste any room. And we are going to use... Oh, I need chunks. I need chunks for this one. No, 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 I don't. No, no. We need, we're making a cluster out of this one. So it's half here, half here, half here, and half here. And we get the nether cluster. Sorry. So it took me a minute to think that one through. So we're going to go ahead and put that here and put it all the way around. And we get our nether seeds. 
Next one, go with, yeah, you can figure it out. It's coal. So we got that one. And then here's the zombie one. Now, the zombie is tier one. We're not actually going to use it. We're going to use it to make the pig one. And we're also going to use it to make the cow one and also make it to help some make some of the sheep. So I have one sheep, so we need to make three more sheep. So these are tier one level chunks. So we need to change those into tier two level chunks. Let's just go ahead and throw these in there real quick. And I'm going to let that process through, and when it gets done, we'll come right back. Okay, we have our tier one chunks, mob chunks. So now we need to convert those into tier two. Let's go ahead and go here and get the... Actually, let's go here first, because I know where it is. It's these 30 here. We need to ch change these tier ones. Ignore this stuff over here. I apologize. That's for the next episode. We got our 15 tier one chunks. To make it into tier two, you just take your essence. That It can be anywhere. It doesn't, as long as it's two stacks of them, you got it. And this changes into tier two chunks, okay? So now we have our tier two chunks. So we'll go ahead and leave those in there for now. Let's go ahead and get the next thing that we're going to make. We're going to make the pigs. Right? I don't need that one there. We're going to make the pigs and do that. It's just like this. And now we have our four pig chunks. Tier two pig chunks. And we just go ahead and put it back in this basic recipe we have here. And we have our seed which is pig seed. All right, next one here is a chicken. I got four of these because I was killing a bunch of chickens. So now we have our chicken seed. Now, if you had to make this one, let's go and look at the recipe. I think it's feathers and eggs with the tier two, which we have, which we have our tier two stuff here. But since we don't need it, since I got it when I killed them, we don't need to make it the old long fashion way. All right, so the next one is gonna be a cow. We're gonna take this and this, and I think I think this here, I, no, we need to make it, it's nascent, there we go. And this comes in a certain way, I'm not sure if the leather is on the, this side or not. Yeah, there you go. Now if we switched it, it would not show up. You have to have it exactly like this. So we get our four cow chunks, we come back over here, put the chunks in here. We have our cow seed, and see, I keep clicking out of there by accident. Then we have a wool one. We are for our sheep. Now I was I killed a sheep like I said earlier when I was killing all the chickens. A, a sheep spawned, so I got one, but that's all I got. We need three more, so we're going to go ahead and make three more real quick. And now we got three of these. So it's a lot easier if you can kill the animals and get it this way, compared to actually getting it, putting it in the alloy smelter, and then getting the um, essence to get it up to that level. So yeah, if you can find them and kill them, it's better that way. All right, so let's go ahead and go this way. And we got our sheep seed. All right. Next one is going to be a slime ball. I mean, actually, a slime chunk. And it goes here. There we go. Now we have our slime chunks, which will make our slime seed. Let's go here. And we're down to four of these. And we got our slime seed. Right, and there we go. I hit escape again. Now, the rest of these is almost easy. This is aluminum which, yeah, you know how to make aluminum. It's really simple. We got our aluminum seed. We got our copper seed. And then we got our brass copper seed, our brass aluminum. Brass, aluminum brass. Which, if you're not sure how to make, see if I can get to the recipe real simple. Da, da, da. There it is. It's one part copper, three part aluminum. And it comes out to alum, uh, molten aluminum brass. So it's really simple, not too hard to make. So now we have our aluminum. And the next thing we're going to make is, this is for Botanica, I believe it's Mystical Flower. We'll get this one too. Oops, I need to get those out of the crafting table. There we go. And these are going to make um, clusters. So we're going to go ahead and put these right here on our 2x2. Two two. Put that there. And do I have any more doubles? Yes, put the doubles in next. And last level. So now we have our four mystical flower clusters. There we go. So that's going to give us our mystical flower seed. There we go. So that is everything for tier two. All right. Let's not slow down too fast. I'll, I'll plant these as soon as I get the next level because we're going to fill this up. We're going to do tier three. That's what you see here. So let's go ahead and go down a little bit. Tier three, we're going to go ahead and do basically what we did a few minutes ago. We're going to start out with seeds and I don't know if this works for you, but this is the best way I can find to make these, split these into fours. If you add it to it, it usually doesn't work for some reason. So let's go here, here, 
here and here. There we go. And we get our 16 base crafting seeds, just like we did a minute ago. Let's see if I can do this a little bit better this time. There's four. There's four. So we're going to go here, 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 and here. There we go. We got 19 tier one. Now we need to change them into tier two. And there we go. We go here, 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 and here. We've got 19 tier two seeds. Now we need to change those to tier three because these are all tier three seeds that we're about to make. So we're going to go one more time this way. Actually, we're going to do this two more times. That's a whole other story. There we go. And now we have our 19 tier three crafting seeds. And now we just need to go ahead and set up our pattern for our seeds. There we go. We go here, 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 and here. Now we have everything set up for our uh, tier three seeds. And this is all the stuff that we need for our tier three seeds. The first thing is iron. That is one of the achievements that we have to do. So we can mark that off in our book. We have our iron seed. The next one is going to be nether quartz. And I'm, uh, I'm going to try to skip through all these that you should know how to do just naturally. All right, we got our glowstone. We're just going to go ahead and make glowstones out of them. We get our glowstone, and we'll put that into here in our pattern. And we get our glowstone seed. There we go. And let's go back down. And then we got our redstone seed. There we go. We got our obsidian seed. There we go. And then we have a skeleton chunk seed. So we got that all set because I have the skeletons now instead of the withers. So we got our skeleton seed. And then this is a creeper seed, which is um, tier three. So we're going to go ahead and put the creeper in here. So that'll take care of the, the creeper seed. And I had so many creepers, I am using them to make the spider seed to make the rabbit seed because I only got they had one drop I was able to get that one and also the guardian seed I believe it is so we're going to take all this and put it in the alloy smelter and basically you're taking these things and you're reducing them down to oh, let me show you this tier three just a generic one so instead of taking a tier one and building it to tier two to tier three we're just getting a tier three and we're making it into a tier three mob chunk by throwing it in the alloy smelter now I'll try to explain, you see, uh, if you wanted to do this the hard way, you have to get a tier two and add the essence, and then you get a tier one to get to a tier two. So once you get to a tier two, it, you have to add the essence to get to that normally. Or you can just start out with a tier three and just throw it in the alloy smelter and you got your tier three. So that's, I hope that, we in a minute ago we showed you how to build it up to a tier two because I didn't have many tier twos. So we built up a bunch of tier ones to a tier two. This time, tier three level, we have plenty of those uh, chunks. So we just basically throw them in the alloy smelter and we got them. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in here. And if you don't understand, go back and look just a few minutes ago and how I built up a tier one to a tier two using essence. And now this time I'm not using essence, I'm just using the drops. All right, so just go ahead, and ignore that. And we're gonna come back over here and we are going to do the next thing. We're going to do a spider. I'll go ahead and pull this stuff down. We are going to do a uh, rabbit. Rabbit, because I went rabbit hunting. And yet, uh, when I was killing all those rabbits, I only got one of those out of there. And we're going to do a guardian. Let's go ahead and grab that one out. There we go. We'll come here. And we're going to do... We got one rabbit, so we're going to go ahead and do two. And again, it's very sensitive which way it goes. And I'm not sure. I apologize. I got it. There's the rabbit. Then we're going to do the Guardian. And see if I get it again. Yep, I am strike. I'm just doing good. And then the Spider. I should have done that one first. Let's see if I got this one right. Nope, got it wrong. Well, two out of three is not bad. There we go. We have our Spider chunk. Now we're going to go ahead and throw that in here. And we have a Spider seed. And then we have a Rabbit seed. We were Rabbit hunting. And a guardian, we get a guardian seed. And I believe that is all the chunks that we're going to use. Everything else is metal. We have our silver, and we got a silver seed. We have our lead, and we got a lead seed. There we go. We have uh, night, si night slime. All right, the best way I found to get night slime is using chickens, the chicken mod. 
If you're having problems with the chicken mod, I suggest checking out episode 16 and go to about the one minute mark. And I tried to do a basic overlay of all the chicken stuff that I've learned. And I think it's pretty good. And if you have any questions after that, give me a holler about the chickens. Dive into the chickens. Episode 16, about one minute into it. All right, so night slime. And that's the best way I've found to make night slime is with the chicken drops. You, what you end up doing is you take two chickens, one with pig iron, one with, uh, I'm not going to say that because I'll butcher it. Um, but that's the easiest and fastest way I was able to find this one. Um, you can make this if you get purple slime, I believe it is. Go ahead and look real quick. And I never found purple slime, so you got iron, you got uh, liquid purple slime, and you got sheer stone, which makes the night slime. It was a lot easier just to make it with the uh, chickens because I really dove, dove into those chickens. So that is the night slime. And the next one is ardite. And again, I got that from the chicken drops. But you can, can you make ardite? I don't think you can, can you? Ardite is just a basic component. Yeah. Chicken's where I got that from. Uh, and it works really well. You take two chickens, you breed them together, and you get the chicken eggs. You see blaze rods and magma, which is, those were pretty generic and easy to make. Especially considering what you're getting out of it, ardite. All right, so we got our Ardite seed. Next is called Electrical Steel. Let's look at that recipe real quick. It wasn't too difficult. It's just some iron, some coal that's been ground up with some silicone. So we got our Electrical Steel. And then we got our Redstone Alloy. We'll look at that recipe real quick. And it, again, it wasn't too hard. It's Redstone with some silicone gives you a Redstone Alloy. And then we got our Pig, no, this is Conducto. I was thinking it was Pig Iron for some reason. And again, that recipe is just iron and uh, redstone, not hard. And then mana steel, you can get those from the chickens, or you can actually throw iron into the mana pool with botania. And I did an episode on that earlier. And then we got the enriched quartz, which just is iron and some nether quartz. So we got that. So that is all of tier three seeds. All right. Let me go plant these bad boys over here, and I will end the episode once we get that done. I'll be right back. All right, my friends, that is today's episode. We have done crafted all Tier 2 and Tier 3 Mystical Agricultural Seeds. If you saw something you liked, please give me that thumbs up. If you saw something you didn't like, give me that thumbs down. Either way, it's all good. And But last but not least, please, please subscribe. It's been real. It's been fun. And my googly eyes says it's been really fun. All right, my friends. Have a great day. Till next time. Bye. See you later. Bye-bye. Ah! See ya.